In this video, you will learn how to flash a window using DuPont Fluid Applied Flashing and Joint Compound. DuPont recommends, as a best practice, to install a piece of straight flash at the sill of the window to act as a membrane for nail sealability or screw sealability. If you don't have any type of penetrations or fasteners going through the sill because of a subsill, just fasten it to the window. If you're using gypsum sheathing, make sure you prime the edges so that loose particles are bound together. Once you install the sill flashing, take the fluid applied flashing and apply it to the jams and then to the corners of the rough opening. Work your way from the top down so that if you have any drips or any extra product that falls into the sill, you can clean it up at the end. A zigzag pattern of application is shown, but you can use whatever method that you feel is appropriate. The fluid applied flashing is going to extend two inches onto the face of the wall. Apply a bead of fluid applied flashing onto the face of the wall as well. Take your trowel and smooth the flashing out. You can also use a corner trowel. Once you smooth the fluid applied flashing out, take your trowel and go around the corner to get it consistent. This ensures that you don't have any voids or pinholes for a continuous membrane that will protect the wall from air and water infiltration. Follow the same procedure for the sill, head, and jams, making sure that the fluid applied flashing is fully integrated in the entire opening. After the fluid applied flashing tacks up, normally after one or two hours, you can apply the Tyvek fluid applied weather barrier on the opening. The Tyvek Fluid Applied WB should extend 2 inches onto the face of the flashing. Use a Graco pressure roller that attaches to any standard pump set for 3000 PSI. It will pump the Tyvek Fluid Applied Weather Barrier through the power roller, giving you good control and access to material so you get a quality application. 